And now, Grape Nuts, the heart of your B.E.B. presents Gangbusters. Gangbusters, presented in cooperation with police and federal law enforcement departments throughout the United States. The only national program that brings you authentic police case history. Hey, mister, you sitting in front of your radio, and you, madam, do you feel droopy in the morning? Wouldn't you rather feel on your toes, full of zip, and ready to go? Hey, who wouldn't? Then what you need is B-E-B. B-E-B, 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 wow! And the best B-E-B includes grape nuts. Surprise safe crackers who looked for an easy fortune in stolen cash, but who didn't know that vigilant police officers had a preview of everything they plotted. Gangbusters is happy to return to the Columbia Broadcasting System, where it started the first of its 565 broadcasts exactly 13 years ago. During the past few days, scores of telegrams and letters have been received wishing Gangbusters continued success in the part it plays in dramatizing the war against the underworld. Mayor Delesif S. Morrison of New Orleans, president of the American Municipal Association. It is a genuine pleasure to congratulate gangbusters on your 13th anniversary on the air. And through you, the many local and federal heroes of the never-ending fight against crime whose achievements have been dramatized on your program. Gangbusters has rendered an important public service to the nation and to law enforcement agencies everywhere. Police Commissioner Thomas F. Sullivan of the city of Boston... The Boston Police Department desires to express its appreciation of the cooperation you have given us over the years in which Gangbusters has been broadcast. Your radio presentation each week has been extremely effective in assisting all law enforcement officers. Thank you, Commissioner Sullivan of Boston and Mayor Morrison of New Orleans. And now Gangbusters presents the Honorable John J. Sullivan, former Deputy Commissioner and Chief of Detectives of the New York City Police Department, to narrate tonight's case. Commissioner Sullivan. Thank you, and good evening, Gangbusters listeners. <clears throat> Tonight's case deals with a highly specialized police technique called surveillance. This consists of skillfully training a known criminal for days, weeks, or even months <clears throat> until that criminal commits or attempts to commit a crime. A small group of detectives, part of the New York City Police Department and known as the Safe and Law Squad, are recognized experts at this work. A typical case in which this famous group of investigators was involved had its beginnings one afternoon last spring at a race course on Long Island. A man and woman were sitting on the clubhouse lawn between races. The man was studying his only Bible, the daily racing form, and she listened to an announcement on the public address system concerning the next race. Hear that, Al? Change of jockeys. That means something? Yeah, it means this kid will ride the five horse instead of the other one. Now, let me alone, will you? I'm trying to come up with the figure, horse. Four, eleven, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. the two. Al? What? I like this one, this Uncle Jack here. What's the matter? Can't you read? He's thirty to one. I like him. Why? Because it says here, what does out of mean? That's the name of the horse's mother. Well, the horse's mother is named Blue Jersey, and I look good in Blue Jersey. That's the reason, huh? That's as good as any reason you got. All those figures and everything. The way you play horses, you got to get an A in arithmetic. Look, if you like this horse so much, Mona, just take your two bucks, walk up to the window, get yourself a ticket, that's all. Place a show. I'll be a sport for your two bucks. Play him the winner. Let me alone. Huh? Eight, eleven, nineteen, thirty. Oh, Al. Okay. How you doing? Well, Mr. Ryan, what do you say? Nothing much. Didn't know you were out yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh, joined the Sing Sing Alumni Association four months ago. Haven't seen you around, Al. And you won't see him around either. I'm a square John now. I got a used car lot in Brooklyn. What's the matter? Don't you like the other? I like the fresh air. My name is Mona. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mona. Meet Ryan. Glad to know you. Pleasure's all mine. Well, how about it, Ryan? You got any information on any good things this afternoon? Have you? Well, Al, glad to hear you're out. Thanks, and give my regards to all the boys. You lousy, no-good clown. What's the matter? Looks 
like a real nice guy to me. No, he does, does he? That's the guy that stuck me away for three to five. He's a cop, a sergeant. Oh? Coming around here with that glad to see you. How you doing routine? Can't blame him for having an interest in his past clients. I'll give him an interest. Now, look, don't say nothing to Tommy about me running into a cop. What's the matter? Tommy ain't too young to know the facts of life. Just don't say nothing to Tommy. I don't like him to worry. This Ryan guy's asleep on his feet. That was pure luck he grabbed me before. Pure He's luck. Horses the floor oh, no, we better get our beds done. Okay. Safe and love squad, Captain Hanson. Sergeant Ryan, boss. Well, hello, Ryan. Where are you? I'm out at the track, checking around. What's up? Ran into an old friend of ours, boss. Yeah, who's that? Al Gardo. Al Gardo? Oh, yeah, yeah. When did he get out? Four or five months ago, he says. Says he's been playing it square. Says he's got a used car lot in Brooklyn. You think it's so, Ryan? Well, I'll tell you, boss. He's been patronizing that $100 mutual window all afternoon. And the used car business ain't that good. Unless he's the smiling Irishman, which he ain't. Where is he now? Adler's got his eye on him and the girl. The clubhouse yet. From Sing Sing to the clubhouse out here. Say, Ryan, that uh, gang that's been giving us the trouble lately, you think Al has any connection? Well, Al's a safe man, and those weren't cracker boxes that got busted into. All right, Ryan. You and Adler stay with him a while. See where he goes. This horse has got a mother named Blue Jersey. That's all I know about him. Ask Al. So I put Mona. That... Yeah, Tommy? Go out in the kitchen and fix some drinks. Yeah, Mona, I could stand a drink. Hey, since when have I been a barmaid around here? Go on, will you, baby? The bottle is on the sink. The ice is in the icebox. Thanks. I'd never think of looking for ice in the icebox. Imagine ice in the icebox. Didn't I tell you to take a look around down in Greenpoint this afternoon? Well, Tommy, I started. So... so you went to the track instead. I'm sitting here waiting to hear that you got a box to crack and you're out in the sunshine at the races. Listen, either you're a safe man or a sport. Now make up your mind, Al. I got no time to kiss away. Okay, okay. I'll have a look around tomorrow afternoon. What's the matter with the morning? Now listen, Tommy, I got to put in some time at the used car lot. If I got a front, I got to take advantage All of it. All right. Locate that safe. Didn't I say I would? Boys are getting anxious. Ain't had a touch in a week now. Last one wasn't as big as we figured. I'll line up something. I need to do myself. Yeah, bad day at the track, huh? Wasn't good. Only Mona hits. Out of the dark, she picks this 30 to one shot and only two bucks she had on it. A lousy two buck ticket. Okay, okay. Now, scout up something, will you? Watch out for those safe and loft cops. Could be two feet behind you. You never know they were there. Oh, uh, Tommy, if you worry about cops, you die young. Those safe and loft cops you've got to worry about. Now, you sure nobody's been behind you? Now, look, well, wouldn't I have said something if there was? I, I ain't seen a cop since I got out, not even one on a motorcycle. Now, don't worry about Listen, it. Listen, Al, any time you figure yourself smarter than those guys, you're a dead pigeon. Believe me, those safe and loft guys are operators. Hey, Giano. Yeah, Sergeant Ryan, what? Captain in there? Yeah, Ryan, he's been asking for you. Hello, Captain. Come in, Ryan. Well, Captain, Al and the girl went right from the track to this house on 111th. Adler and I stuck around until the relief came to take over. Mm -hmm. Al's still in there. Did you find out anything about the guy Al's visiting? Well, the mailbox says Tommy Fay, but you can't go by mailboxes and what the janitor said. Tommy Fay? Doesn't ring a bell with me. One of us will get a look at him when he steps outside. I don't think we ought to wait that long, Ryan. Did Adler come back with you? Yeah, he's out there. Yes, Captain. Tell Adler to step in here. Yes, sir. Well, I've got some information on Al for you, Ryan. Yeah? Yeah, that used car lot of his. Couldn't support a guy that drinks nothing but milk. Uh-huh. It's a two-by-four affair. This morning, there were just two jalops and a beat-up panel truck on sale. That's all. The Motor Vehicle Bureau says he registered sales and only two cars out of there since the 1st of April. Well, that settles it for me, boss. Al's out on the make again. With this Tommy Fay? Yeah, whoever he is. All right, Ryan, keep somebody on Al around the clock. He's our key man until we find out who this Tommy Fay is. Yeah, Captain. Come in, Adler. What's up? I got to go back and take over from Donahue, Taylor Al. We'll send somebody else, Adler. Now, look, tomorrow morning I want you to go out on the 111th and knock on the door. 
See if you can get a good enough look at this Tommy Faye to make him. How? How about the magazine subscription routine? No, he wouldn't even open up the door. The uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi Society? Well, we don't know for sure he's Italian. Janitor said he might be. Okay, Adler, try that. But watch your step. Yeah? What do you want? Io represento la società di Giuseppe Garibaldi. Go home, will you? I got no interest in society. La nostra società... Speak English, will you? This society is in desperate needs of funds for its work, neighbor. We would like a pledge from now you. Now, get your pledges off somebody else. I don't believe in charity. Oh, please. No. I... Now, go on home. Captain Hanson. Adler, Captain. Did you get in? I didn't get in, but I saw him. Tommy Fay is Tommy DeLuce. DeLuce? I'll take an oath on it. Get in here as fast as you can, Adler. Ryan. Sergeant Ryan. Yeah, boss. What is it? Adler just called. Faye is Tommy DeLucci. Well. Yeah. I'll detail four or five more men to work on this thing. Tell them to report to my office in half an hour for instructions. You betcha, Captain. Right away. Well, gangbuster listeners, Tommy DeLucci was a well known safe cracker. And the safe and law squad had lost track of him for many months. Now, though it took a gun battle in a dark and corridor, they were never again to lose track of him. Madam, I wouldn't be so bold as to ask how old you are. But tell me, around 11 o'clock in the morning, how old do you feel? About twice as old? Do you wilt? Then what you need is a B-E-B. B-E-B, 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 wow! B-E-B means basic energy breakfast. The kind of breakfast food experts say everyone should eat every morning. The kind of breakfast that gives you energy and zip, that makes you feel like licking your weight in wildcats. What should a basic energy breakfast consist of? Fruit or juice, toast and your favorite beverage, and cereal. And that's where Grape Nuts comes in. Grape Nuts is a cereal that gives you nourishment plus. Why, it's a fact that just one serving of Grape Nuts with milk and sugar gives you more nourishment than an egg and a slice of bacon. Plus, a wonderful flavor that says, give me more. Give me more Grape Nuts. Grape Nuts, the cereal that's different, with those satisfying little kernels that stay crisp to the last spoonful. Remember, Grape Nuts give you plenty of healthy nourishment and a fine, tempting flavor you can really enjoy. And if you want to beat that mid-morning letdown, be sure you get your B.E.B. and make Grape Nuts the heart of your basic energy breakfast. And our Grape Nuts takes you back to Gangbusters. And here again is tonight's narrator, the Honorable John J. Sullivan, former chief of detectives and deputy police commissioner of the city of New York. As you know, the famous safe and law squad of the New York City Police Department had picked up the trail of Tommy DeLucio, alias Tommy Fay, one of the most notorious safe crackers of recent years. So Captain Hanson of the safe and law squad ordered detectives to keep under surveillance, waiting for a move. After several nights of inactivity, police followed Al Goddard and Tommy DeLuce to a bar in the Coney Island section of Brooklyn. Should have taken Mona with us tonight, Tommy. She'll be mad. Yeah, let us stay home one night. The rest will do her good. Besides, we've got to talk about how we're going to take that warehouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. That uh, watchman they got. I don't like watchmen. Suppose I scout around for another safe. Yes, and what's a watchman? There'll be four of us and we'll have heaters. He's old, ain't he? He's not young. So he won't be a problem. The problem is, will there be much dough in the safe? There usually is. How do you know? The drivers make collections. Where are they going to put the dough until a bank opens in the morning in a sugar bowl? Uh-huh. When's payday then? Friday's. Okay. Safe ought to be loaded Thursday night. That's when we take it. Oh, not Thursday night, Tommy. Why not Thursday well, night? Well, the Dodgers got a night game with the Braves, I promise. Listen, Florida. there's a baseball game every day. Yeah, but Tommy, this game's important. It's a crucial series. Uh huh. Okay. Get five seats. Five? Why five? Ebbets Field's a good place to have the boys meet us. Say. Yeah, that's right, it is. But what about Warner? 
What about her? Well, I promised to take her to the game. And take her. Have the job. So? Eh? She can give us a little help. How? She can sit in the car outside the joint with Nick. If anybody comes along, think they're a couple of lovers part. I don't know if she'll go for it, Tommy. She'll go for it. She's been riding the gravy train long enough. Better start shoveling some coal into the boiler. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, Captain, don't look like tonight's tonight. No, Ryan, I guess they're headed home. I ain't sorry either, boss. Not that I wouldn't like that Tommy nailed as fast as we can, but my feet are killing me. Watch it now. I think they're going to turn it 110. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing, all right. Yeah. Hal's taking Tommy home. Well, I guess they won't crack into any place tonight. But keep behind them, Ryan, just to make sure. Okay, boy. Al? Yeah, hello, Tommy. Where you been? I called this number three times. Well, you wanted me to give the ball game tickets to the boys, didn't you? That's where I've been. Are you all set? Didn't I tell you it was a crucial series that tickled the death? I don't mean about the game. I mean about the other. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, that's set. Vince will bring the tools? Yeah, yeah, he's got them. We'll drive to the ballpark in our car and leave it. Vince will meet us at Ebbets Field. He'll have his car parked on Bedford Avenue. We'll use that for the job. It's all worked out. But I don't see no sense to it. Listen, there's plenty of sense to it. These safe and loft guys are everywhere. How about Mona? Well... So you told her, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Tommy. I told her, but she don't care too much for the idea. Well, tell her again and make her care for it. If you got her around enough, she ought to help out once in a while. Okay, okay, she'll help out. I'll see you at Ebbets Field, huh, tonight? Yeah. Oh, uh, I got eight to five, says the Brooks take the Braves. I ain't interested in the ball game. Just be there. Well, you don't have to worry about me, Tommy. I'll be there for the batting practice. Batting in place of Hodges. Brooklyn, Toronto, number six. Batting in place of Hodges. Ryan, keep your eye on Tommy. We won't lose him, Captain. <laughs> well, this will probably be the last batter. Get set to take out after them. You know, you think they'd leave early if tonight's the night. Especially with Brooklyn so far behind and two out in the night. Yeah, well, maybe tonight isn't the night. Where's Adler? He went down closer to them. Uh-oh, he's going to pitch to him. Yeah. And there they go, boys. Okay. Yeah. Hey, they've cut out across the field. But the car's on this side. So maybe they're changing cars. Come on. Pardon us, please. You see Adler? No, oh, I don't see him. Can you still see Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, I can see Tommy, but I don't think we can get to him. Pardon us, please. Excuse us. Hey! Excuse us, please. Coming through. Uh, coming through here, please. Coming through. What do you suppose they're up to? Here, coming through here, please. Excuse us, please. Coming through, please. Coming, coming through. through. Coming Excuse through. us, please. Honest, Tommy, I couldn't enjoy the ball game thinking about changing cars and all this crazy business. Well, at least we're sure there's no safe and loft guys behind us. Right, guys? Right. And speaking of the ball game, Al, how about paying off your little bet with me? Mm-hmm. The Brooklyn can't be beat. Ha! Okay, I'll pay it off later. We've got more important things on our mind tonight. Listen, now, don't you try to Welsh on me, He'll Al. He'll pay you off later. Now, you're all set on what you got to do, Mona. I'm all set, but I don't like it none. All you got to do is sit in the car with Nick and get a little close. Now, that's all. I don't see why you have to drag me into it. You're in it, so that's that. All right, boys. You got it straight how we're going to take care of the watchman? Yeah, and do it just like I told you. We got nothing to worry about, except how we're going to spend the money. No. No sign of him, Captain. Well, he must have switched cars. That means tonight's the night. Have you seen Adler? No, no place. That's yeah, tough. We lost him after all this work. Yeah. All right, look, Ryan. You stay here and watch the car Tommy left. I'm going to get the office on the phone. 
As soon as Mackey shows up, meet me in the candy store. All right. You bet you, Captain. Okay, old-timer. Hey. Now, don't try nothing unless you want a lead slug in your belly. I'm not going to try anything. That's the way to cooperate, old-timer. We're after the safe, and we're going to take it without any trouble from you. All right. I won't give you any trouble. Okay, boys. Get them tied up. But they got to ring in on my calls. If I don't, the alarm company will be down yeah, here. All right. Just be sure you don't ring in anything phony. You get that slug in the belly for sure. Yeah. Which way is the next call box, old-timer? It's straight down there. Hey, you. You go with them. See, so don't pull anything. Yeah. Go on, mister. All right, I'm going. Go on. Go on. All right, come on, boys. Safe's in there. Who's got the tools? I got them. Then let's go get it. Safe and lost squad, Detective Jano. Hello, Jano. Adler, listen. Adler, Captain Hanson's calling in on the other phone. He wants you. And I want him. Well, hold on. I'll cross-connect you. Captain Hanson? Yes? Adler just called in on the other phone. I'll cross-connect you. Good. Make it snappy. Hold on. Go ahead. Captain, where are you, Adler? Listen, Listen, Captain, I managed to stay behind him in a cab. Good. Where are they? They broke into the Atlantic Terminal Company Warehouse, 362 Maspeth. You got it? Got it. They're still inside. Okay, we'll be there in five minutes. Now, listen, Captain, the girl and one of them are parked on Maspeth as lookouts. You better come down, Stuart. Can you handle those two? Sure. All right, take care of them. We'll be along in about five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two things you want in a breakfast cereal. Lots of nourishment and a wonderful flavor. Grape Nuts gives you both. Why, just one bowl of Grape Nuts with milk and sugar gives you more nourishment than an egg and a slice of bacon. And that's why Grape Nuts is the best cereal for your B.E.B., your basic energy breakfast. The kind of breakfast that gives you more energy to beat that droopy morning letdown. And you'll like the taste of grape nuts tremendously. They have a multi-rich, sweet-as-a-nut flavor that brings you back for more. So, if you droop before noon, if you don't feel lively in the morning, make sure you get your B.E.B. And make sure you make grape nuts the heart of your basic energy breakfast. Ask your grocer for grape nuts tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh, oh, so it is. Go to church tomorrow and buy Grape Nuts on Monday. And now Grape Nuts takes you back to Gangbusters. There's Adler, Captain, right by that car. Okay, Ryan, pull up alongside. Come on, boys. Right, Captain. Everything okay, Adler? Just perfect, Captain. What do we do with these two? I didn't do anything. Honest, I didn't do anything. We'll I'd, see I'd... about that later, sister. Mackey, keep your eye on these two. Come on, men. Right. Well, they got in through the freight entrance, Captain. I think we can make it the same way. All right, hold it here. You, you, go around. Cover the other side of the building. Right here. Okay, Ryan, let's go. Adler. Yeah, Captain. We'll go in first. You back us up, okay? Right. Watch it going up on the freight dock, Captain. Yeah. All right, go on up. All right. Adler? Yeah. All right. Here I come. Okay. Let's go. Watch this Tommy, fellas. He's always carried a gun on jobs. Don't worry, boss. That door there. Okay. Open it up. All right. Let's go in. There's a light back there. Yeah, that's them. Let's take them. Get him up, all of you. Not me, Chopper. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, what's the rest of that? 
Up. All right. Uh, All of you stay where you are. Get your hands in the air. Come on. Watch him, Ryan. Don't worry, Captain. Ah, oh, here's Tommy. Looks like he's through. And I'm here to help me, will you guys? Sure, we'll help you, Al. Right back to Sing Sing, where you came from. Oh. All right. Now, Ollie, get over against that wall and sit down. You've got to see what's what around here. Go on, he said. Against the wall. Well, gangbusters listeners, that was the end of this syndicate of dangerous safe crackers. Their leader, Thomas DeLucio, is dead, and the second in command seriously wounded. All convicted members of this gang are now serving long terms in Sing Sing. Thank you very much, Commissioner John J. Sullivan, for this memorable insight into the work of the famous Safe and Lock Squad of the New York City Police Department. And gangbusters, congratulations to all the courageous and hardworking officers who participated in this investigation. Now, Gangbusters is proud to present the Honorable Fred A. Roth, Chief of Police of Morristown, New Jersey, and past president of the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Thank you. I congratulate Gangbusters on its 13th anniversary and wish it continued success in dramatizing in an authentic manner the achievements of our nation's police forces. Today, face to face with a mounting wave of crime, America's police need as never before the understanding and the enlightened cooperation of the citizens of our country. Those who are tempted to break the law must be convinced that crime does not pay. Those who are law-abiding must learn generously and wisely to give full cooperation to their police forces. Earlier in this program, you have heard messages from Police Commissioner Thomas F. Sullivan of Boston and Mayor Deliseps S. Morrison of New Orleans. Now, a message from the Honorable Thomas D. Alessandro, Jr., Mayor of Baltimore. As Mayor of the City of Baltimore and Chairman of the Standing Committee on Legislation of the United States Conference of Mayors, I heartily congratulate Gangbusters Radio Program on its 13th anniversary and wish it continued success in informing our citizens of the splendid work of the federal, state, and local law enforcement officers who so zealously guard our safety. With enemies boring from without and within, we must be ever alert to the danger to our national security. And our nation is fortunate in having fearless, efficient, and vigilant protection by the duly constituted law officials of the nation. And from the Honorable Edmund G. Brown, District Attorney of the City and County of San Francisco... Congratulations on the 13th anniversary of Gangbusters and continued success in bringing to the attention of the public the splendid work of the nation's police and other law enforcement bodies. And here is a telegram from the Honorable Donald S. Leonard, Commissioner of the Michigan State Police. Congratulations to Gangbusters on the 13th anniversary of its series of programs dedicated to proving the truth of the oft-repeated warning, the crime does not pay. The influence which this has exerted in behalf of law enforcement deserves the commendation of enforcement officials. I know these fine messages to gangbusters express the considered opinion of many other law enforcement officials in all the 48 states, their counties, and their cities. Thank you, Chief of Police Fred A. Roth of Morristown, New Jersey, past president of the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Next week, the case of the masquerading gunman who staged the biggest bank robbery in Oregon history, but who found that when the masks were down... The prize for the best performance went to the men in police uniform. Listen next week, same time, same CBS station, to the amazing facts in the case of the masquerading gunman on Gangbusters. Tonight's case was dramatized by Stanley Nitz and directed by William Sweets with Frank Reddick and Larry Haynes in leading roles. Jay Jackson speaking. Gangbusters is a Phillips H. Lord production. Gangbusters has been presented by Great Nuts, the delicious, malty-rich cereal that gives you nourishment plus. So make Great Nuts the heart of your B-E-B, the heart of your basic energy breakfast. Great Nuts. This is CBS... The Columbia Broadcasting System.